Oh, hold on. Let me adjust this thing. Yo, I got lots to do. Is this thing on? All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new here, my name's Aaliyah, and I am the familiar foreigner. Yes, yes, yes. I am in a brand new space. We moved. <laughs> A lot has happened. I haven't posted a video in maybe two months or so, and a lot has happened in my life. We've had Thanksgiving, we've had Christmas, we've had New Year's, the borders have opened in China. I mean, we moved. <sighs> More about that later. So a lot has happened in the last little bit. Hopefully by the time you see this video, I've already caught you up on my life on things that have been going on. But at the same time, I do feel like I'm gonna be posting this video first, so we're just gonna go out of order. It is what it is, guys, it is what it is. You gotta keep up. The borders are officially open, which means we get to internationally travel again without any quarantine. Oh my God, hallelujah. China was like the last country on earth <laughs> Hong Kong opened up first and then Japan opened and South Korea opened a whole bunch of riots were happening and China really felt the pressure but a lot of things were just going down in this vlog I'm taking you somewhere I've never been before but have always 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 dreamed of going and finally it's happening today we officially have a flight and we are leaving China, China. so first flight we're going to Macau let's go Bag is never out first. Are you joking? Yes. Finally arrived at my hotel. I mean, it really wasn't a long, long travel, but I'm exhausted. So I'm really excited to see this room. So I just checked into my room and it's just so comfortable, it's so nice. There's a jacuzzi, there's a pool, there's a sauna, there's a spa, there's three restaurants, there's a gym. There's a whole bunch of things available here and I didn't even know. I kind of just booked this place because a friend of mine recommended it and I was scrolling through the pictures and I was like, yeah, 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 it's cute, let's do it. But yeah, that's my criteria. <laughs> So this is a really nice surprise that there's so much more. Okay, Macau. All right, I'm absolutely starving. I'm out here really looking crazy. Ooh, Lord. It's 8.25. The Thai restaurant downstairs closes at 10, so I need to go and run downstairs and get something to eat. I'm gonna be wearing my airport clothes. Let me go, because I'm so hungry, and I don't want to be hangry. Yes, 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 but it's quite nice. Thank you. <laughs> Something about Thai food speaks to my heart. Cheers. Good morning. I had the most amazing sleep ever in this bed right here. I just got ready and I'm gonna head out downstairs to just go and explore. There's an area called Fisherman's Wharf that is apparently really nice. I don't know, I'm gonna check it out. There isn't really a solid plan today. I'm just gonna walk and kind of figure it out as I go. So let's go and explore.
Colosseum. Am I back in Rome? The most random thing I've ever seen in my life. And everyone's just posing for pictures as if it's the real thing. Hey. So Macau used to be a Portuguese colony for 400 years. People here still speak Portuguese. I mean, not a whole bunch, but all the signs everywhere have Portuguese written on them. And then there's also the Chinese underneath it. And then under that, then there's the English. When you walk outside and you come around this fisherman's wharf area, the colors of the buildings are just gorgeous. It feels very, very, very Portuguese, but then it's still part of China, so it's just so interesting. You'll have all these beautiful Portuguese buildings and then hints of Chinese culture. I've never seen Portuguese and Chinese cultures mix so well and so weirdly at the same time. Good morning. That was quite possibly the best sleep ever. I stopped filming yesterday because my camera died and I was just enjoying myself so much. It took about an hour and I went right back outside and I went to this spot called Two Moons. I met the owners of this bar and they were like, he was the kindest guy ever. He had some of his friends working for him. So, so, so good. I got two drinks from them and wow, those drinks were strong. <laughs> Today's gonna be an exciting day. I have a couple of things planned for myself because yesterday I was trying to take it easy, take it slow. Now I've bought tickets, I have some things I wanna do. First things first, we need some coffee and we need some food. of the Macau Tower. 
This view is crazy. It's 360 degree view of all of Macau. And Macau is not even that big, so the view is everything. All corners of this entire city. Let me show you what I'm looking at right now. By my calculations, these little hills in the background. Oh, this one, this one, that's Hong Kong. Decided it was the perfect day to do something that really scared me. So I went skydiving. Okay, okay, okay. Indoor skydiving. But still, Go Airborne Macau was the spot. I bought my tickets, suited up, I figured, why the hell not? And as soon as I saw this instructor in the tunnel, I was an in instant regret. I mean, look at this guy. Some marks after the point. <laughs> oh, it's all bigger. We love this. <laughs> I really can't take myself seriously. <laughs> Look at my cheeks. It's gonna be a good time. Let's do this. the support yeah. yeah and you can like turn I didn't realize yes, how yes, much yes. your body like Every time. oh wow these marks wow <laughs> guys this is Tom from go airborne in Macau I had an amazing time so if you guys want to come out to Macau definitely check out Tom he is going to help you go up into the sky yes. okay, okay thank you <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> all-day breakfast I've had so far here so good I'm just gonna take a nice stroll and see where I end up I have no real plans but every time I don't really have a plan Macau just keeps surprising me so I'm okay with it <laughs> So many 
many people around taking pictures from every corner of this area. Like, There's a lot going on in front of me. Right now, I'm sitting in front of the ruins of St. Paul in Macau. Basically, this space is considered to be the first kind of symbol of the blending of like Chinese history with Western cultures. When Portugal first invaded into Macau, they introduced Catholicism. And so this is like a huge symbol of what all of that represents, like that blending of the two cultures and everything. It was built in 1562. So that's incredible that it's still standing. Look at your hair. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we can take a picture. Hello. My name is Lai Yutong. Lai Yutong. Yes. My name is Lai Yutong. Lai Yutong. My name is Aliyah. Aliyah. Yes. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Where do you come from? I'm from Canada. Canada? Oh. Yes. I like Canada. Are you from Macau? Guangdong, Guangzhou. Oh, Guangzhou. Yes. I live in Shanghai. Okay. Yes. You like Chinese? I like Chinese, yes, of course. If you come to Shanghai, you can see me. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Can nice you have your you. number? I can give you my WeChat. Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys are so nice. <laughs> These two girls were just the absolute sweetest. They were so friendly and honestly, I think they just wanted a chance to practice their English with a foreigner. We ended up spending the next 20 minutes talking, getting to know each other, exchanged each other's WeChat information, and I just love encounters like that. It's so fun to meet people who are just so different from you. I love stuff like that. When people come up to me and they just want to like say hi, they just want to take pictures, it's so adorable, you know? Out of complete innocence, I love stuff like that. Later that night, I decided to take myself out on a bougie date night. I started this little tradition maybe a year and a half ago where whether I'm single or not, I go on an ideal date with myself. I love doing this because over time, practicing this kind of self-love, people seem to be so much more drawn to me. And I get to know so many more people this way than I usually would have when I go out with my friends or my partner. That night, I ended up meeting a lovely bartender who showered me in champagne and wine and shots hello <laughs> as well as a singer from the club who I exchanged information with and she told me to hit her up next time I was back in Macau it's just such a lovely experience to be out in the world on your own and have people naturally show you love like that I encourage solo dates for everyone I am heading 
out for dinner. One of my students that I teach actually in Shanghai, him and his parents are coming to Macau tonight and it's my last night out here. Just so happened that we ended up going to the same place during the same dates. We're gonna do Chinese New Year dinner kind of celebration. So I have my little Chinese New Year outfit on. I'm excited. The light though. We need to get this in Shanghai. I'm running late, <laughs> as always. Yeah, dinner starts in 15 minutes and I'm definitely a half hour away. So I'm gonna go and see you later. <laughs> Woo, wait. Fit check, fit check, fit check, fit check. Fit check, fit check, fit check, fit check, fit check. Ah, 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 fit check. Ah, 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 let's go. Happy New Year. My darling, you have been great. I'm gonna get on a bus so that I can catch my flight. I'm not gonna tell you just yet where I'm going, but just know that it's like 30 degrees there. I'm so excited. I'll catch you guys in the next one, foreigners. See you later. Oh my god, if they lost my luggage, I'm gonna be so upset. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm freaking out. I'm just over an hour. I'm stressed out, I'm stressed out, I'm stressed out. We gotta go! Okay, how much? Oh my god, that's as much as the flight was. Holy crap. Expensive. Bruh, that was the most expensive baggage I've ever had to pay for in my life. It was the same price as the flight. Oh. This is your final call to Mallorca to gate one.